Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving in deep to some high age goodness. That's right, it's the best 15 year old bourbon. What's the best one out there? Of what I have. There's a stipulation. Of what I have. You know, everything's like, oh, it's it's Pappy 15. It's George T. Stagg. Who knows? Sorry. Don't have those? We don't know. This has to be age dated 15 years on the bottle. And I had to have it. So this is all I have that's age dated exactly 15 years. First up, the venerable Knob Creek 15. This is batch two. I believe this one was in 2021, because in 2022 the 18 year came out. So in 2020 and 2021 they released a 15 year. This is batch two from 2021, coming in at 100 proof. Compute, compute, 50% alcohol by volume. Um, most people prefer the 12 over this or prefer the 18 over this. Um, I prefer the 18 over this, but I, I do enjoy this quite a bit. I go back and forth between this and the 12, depending on how good the bottle of 12 is. Next up, Sam Houston, 15 year, coming in at 103 proof, compute, compute, 51.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, this bad boy here, I believe, was also a 2021 bottle. This is a PA-3. Um, they did not do the Sam Houston's in 2022. If you recall, in 2022 they did only Calumet 16. Uh, the Sam Houston version of the line was obviously forgotten. Uh, and this is Barton Juice. I believe the highest proof here tonight. So not a, not a palate blowout night at all. Next up, revered by few, hated by many. That's right. It's Dickel 15 year single barrel. Now we happen to like the Dickel on this channel, um, because I grew up eating those Flintstone vitamins as a kid. But the key here to liking these is A, these are single barrels, and B, find one that's 100 proof or above. Some of these are like in the 80s, wouldn't recommend one of them. But this one here tonight is 50.4% alcohol by volume, compute, compute, reverse computing, 100.8 proof. So just made it into the, you know, by 0.8 into the 100 proof here, a gorgeous bottle shape, I must say, uh, at least 15 years old. Now, I have seen store picks of these at, for instance, Bourbon Street in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, if you're near that area, that theirs is like 17 or 18 years old, because they tell you on the neck tag. Um, so we don't, this could be older, but it's 15 in here for all we know. Last, but certainly not least, Remus. Gatsby Reserve. No, not the great Gatsby you were forced to read in high school. This is the 2022 limited edition bottling from MGP. Uh, really an ode to George Remus. Um, they say he could have been the idea behind the great Gatsby. We don't know if that's true or not, but the Gatsby Reserve, 15 years old, coming in at 97.8 proof, compute, compute, 48.9% alcohol by volume, cast strength. Uh, so pretty rare to have that such a low proof cast strength. Gore, gorgeous bottle, heavy gold topper that I can just, the heft on this, like throwing a baseball. Um, the most expensive bottle up here by far uh, for MSRP. This bottle was like 230 240 250 somewhere in that range msrp I don't, I don't remember i did a review on this a while ago i'll link it above um an interesting one uh obviously the single barrel um george dickel is also cash strength uh this is cash strength the knob creek is obviously proof down to 100 at, i think the sam houston's are as well I, I could be wrong about that i think they're proof down um so we got two that are proof down and two that are not um, to go over pricing real quick, the Knob Creek 15 year was a hundo. 
Sam Houston was like 120 doll hairs, and then the Dickel was like 47, 50 doll hairs. Definitely the bargain of the group. So my lovely wife Rita poured these blinds, so we have no dang clue what's in here. So we're just gonna nose them, rank them, and then we'll guess. We'll guess after we're, we're done ranking them, so I don't have any prejudice against it. But I think some of these are going to be distinctive enough, although they're all around, I think they're within six proof points of each other. But they're probably distinctive enough that my sharp nostrils and palate will discern. Up first, the green. smells good just obviously oak is going to be the predominant note on probably most of these just get some oak just some like dark fruits there's like a like an orange like a candied orange note on this one it's popping through actually some i'm getting a little bit of black licorice and i don't normally say that i wonder if this glass is clean let's take a sip Oh, sweet heavens, that's delicious. Wow. Wow. Um, definitely a lot of, like, orange on there. It's like orange oak, seasoned oak. I get, like, a candied orange. I got, like, a hint of black licorice, but I hate black licorice, and this was actually refreshing. Uh, so take that for what it's worth. Delicious. I should... <sighs> I think that could be the Dickel, even though I'm not supposed to guess first. I just I think the orange note kind of gave it away. The red glass. Oh, now this smells like... This smells like orange graham crackers and oak. And like, like an orange cream soda. Let's take a sip. Delicious. This is a... An orange vanilla creamsicle pop with a bunch of oak in the back end. Nice, you know, pie crust, graham cracker pie crust in there. Oh, that's the George Dickel, by the way. I was completely wrong about the first one. <laughs> I don't know what that one was. This is the Dickel. The finish is still going on the red. Boy, that's... Whew. If you don't like Dickel, you know, you mean to tell me you don't like an orange creamsicle? Get the hell out of here. Alright, here comes the blue. Oh, oh, this dials back to the, by the way, so far, A plus, A plus. This dials back the orange note, and we're getting a little bit deeper, darker, richer. This leans um, seasoned oak chocolate, a little bit of red fruit on here. Yeah, more red fruit on this one. Let's take a sip. Mm-mm-mm also delicious um definitely what i said just it just goes a little darker has a hint of red fruit on there very coating on the mouth it's got the oak in there um no orange like i got off the first two last but certainly not least the gold let's see if this will take home gold tonight i wish they did these in like a gold silver bronze like Whoever's making these Glen Cairns, well, Glen Cairn Glass Company of the UK, if you're watching this video, which I'm sure you're not, why the heck have you not done gold, silver, and bronze as like a three tier lineup? In fact, the hell I'll do it. I'll spray paint these suckers. All right, let's give it a nosing. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Uh, this is a little bit like fudge cake. It's very dense, uh, a lot of vanilla popping off here with the oak uh, and the darkness. I'm not really getting red fruit, not really getting an orange, no, just a very dense and dark area that we're going down here with a lot of like vanilla and cream on top here. Whew. All right, let's take a sip. Oh, is that, that is just creamy and heavy on the mouth. Mm. If I had to knock that one, the finish is short, but the flavors were phenomenal. Delicious. I think that's the Gatsby, actually. Um, kind of tastes like MGP. I kind of get like a, like a creamy vanilla note a lot on MGP. A little bit sweeter. Uh, but the extra age here really shines through. Alright, let me uh, rank these off camera. 
and then we'll come back with my rankings and then what I think they are and then the results. All right, and we're back. So in last place was the blue, very delicious. Um, this wasn't as complex as the others for that simple reason. I'm not sure whether it's the Knob Creek 15 or the Sam Houston 15. I believe it's one of those. Third place whew, was real good. Uh, it, it was just an orange creamsicle with oak. And I, I believe it was the, you know, the Flintstone uh, vitamin orange note, mineral note. Um, I believe that was a, uh, the George Dickel 15 year. Uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, easily beat number four. Number two was the green. Uh, very good. Just I got some of that like very complex. I got like oak. I got a little bit of orange. I got like some like a darker note. I said a little bit of licorice the first time around but just kind of very a little bit more complex than the other ones. So I got second. First place of gold. Um, I believe that is the Remus Gatsby. Uh, just, just a super creamy mouthfeel on it and like tons of vanilla notes. And I was just digging it tonight. Let's get the answer key and uh, see if I was right. Got our old trusty answer key here. In last place, the blue was Sam Houston 15. Shame on you, Sam Houston. You were not the cheapest bottle here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, still a very good bourbon. Uh, definitely a buy at MSRP if you can find it in the 120 ish doll hair range. Uh, it's probably mellowed out a little bit. That bottle's nearly empty. I'm gonna get rid of it here shortly. Uh, it's almost gone. Time to time to send it on home to heaven. Third place, the red was the George Dickel 15 year. Um, again, if you don't like them and you kind of been sleeping on them, you're like, I don't know if I like George Dickel. Just do yourself a favor and find one that's 100 proof or better again they are single barrels so your mileage may vary but uh very good and the value king of the night in the 50 doll hair range these are with the green and the gold in first place the gold oh my gosh the gold tonight i don't know if i did i do this right knob creek 15 holy shit I was sold on that being the Gatsby, uh, which means second place the green was the Gatsby. Wow. Um, well, I guess my palate and nose ain't as good as I thought, right? Huh. Uh, so Knob Creek 15 is the winner tonight with the Gatsby a close second. Kind of neck and neck, but it goes to show you, and I, I did say this during my review of the Gatsby. It's very good, but, but probably not worth the money, we'll say. But Knob Creek 15, just putting on the show tonight. Again, that was batch two, uh, the second release of it. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a, whew, I guess I'm just a big Knob Creek fan. I mean, you, you probably know that if you watch this channel enough, but damn, just bringing the heat tonight and the win and the, well, really the second cheapest bottle here besides the Dickel. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, everybody. Have a good evening.